Good morning and welcome to Unicorn Square. My name is Bridget, Fairy Liaison, Human Sparkle, and even my shirt's sparkly today. So that's kind of exciting. Lots of sparkle happening. So today we'll start off with our Fairy Gratitude Tree, which has been incredibly helpful um, during these times. And I have a video on how to begin your own Fairy Gratitude Tree here. And I also have been doing a daily fairy gratitude tree on YouTube at 1.30 Eastern time. And I'll add in Instagram as well because um, having gratitude, we can all find one thing. It's a great way to begin your day and even uh, end your day. As I fell asleep last night, I was going over all my gratitudes and I was disappointed. I didn't have a, my journal with me to write them down. Um, and the reason for the tree is that like a journal, if you write down your gratitudes, you close the journal um, whereas with the tree, you can see all the goodness dangling about and then add in fun trinkets like an energy heart or a fun garland, which we'll be doing this week. I'm going to add in some tutorials on how to make some magical things. And this we can do with scrap material, a fun little material garland and hang hearts and all kinds of good things. So we'll be working on that this week coming up. Um, but I find it to be super and looking back on some of the things that I had as gratitudes because it doesn't have to be super, um, it can be whatever you're feeling, but it also can be my favorite gratitude. Um, I am grateful for a full fridge of fruits and vegetables and peanut butter cookies. My homemade peanut butter cookies that were delicious. Um, so that was one of my gratitudes last week and it makes me kind of smile because I was like, those were good cookies. And I remember them and it makes me smile. So I highly encourage it. Um, you can reclaim your Christmas tree um, and put it back up again and turn it into your little tree of happiness and gratitude. Or um, now that it's springtime, if you're able in your yard, you can pick a tree or bush and do that as well. And if you're indoors without a fake Christmas tree, you can create a little corner um, with construction paper um, to make a tree and you can uh, cut out um, construction paper leaves, all kinds of different ways to be creative. But it's an awesome activity for kids and grown-ups because I'm loving it. Today's gratitude is I am grateful for um, this one is an awesome one, and I thought of it last night. Oh no, I'm grateful for pens that don't run out of ink. Ha ha, that's, that's, that's kind of wild. Oh, I'm going to my unicorn pen. Oh my goodness. What would a unicorn do? And it says, believe in miracles. And then if you do the switch it, grays on sprinkles. This is kind of a fun little pen. Um, so today's gratitude is um, I am Oh, unicorn pen. Wait, okay. Let's just see what's happening here. Come on, unicorn pen. Oh my goodness. It's maybe invisible ink today. Up, oh, now it's working. I'm grateful that my pen works. Um, I am grateful for unicorn pens that work. And I am super grateful that my mom um, had taught me how to sew when I was a kid. When I was a little kid. Because I'll tell you why. Number one, I'm super grateful. It's an amazing skill. My mom, um, who passed away some time ago, but here's a fun photograph. She sewed and did craft shows all the time. She made these fun little angels, which I've been, I recreated one with my friend Sophia. Um, and I may bring those back, who knows? Um, but here's my gratitude. Now, the really cool thing about this, that's awesome. Wait a minute, let me hang it up. Oh, there we go, there's an open branch. Um, the really cool thing about this is, um, so I sew, as you know, our fairy of the day, and we're gonna pick a fairy of the day, but for the moment, this was one that I created yesterday. Oh, it's full of so much happiness. Um, and we'll see what its, what its message is. But 
Um, uh, actually, I know what this one's message is. This was a really cool one because this is from yesterday. This one has carnelian, which is very grounding, and it is abundance, um, but it restores vitality and also citrine for sunshine and happiness. So that's what this guy is. Oh yeah, yay, I remembered, cool. That was from yesterday. But um, by in the evening, so I sew fairies by day, and in the evenings um, I uh, used a tutorial to create a face mask that can have a little, it's one of the kinds that has a little pocket where you can put the um, extra special ones in there. I don't have any elastic, but I made some strings out of fabric. So um, that's my evening project. And so I'm very thankful that I'm able, and I might do some during the day because today's Sunday in between. I, I, I need to mix it up so that there's a balance because I do love, the fairies bring me great joy and they have awesome messages. So, um, so I'll have a balance between fairies and face masks. Um, and that is a very exciting project. So those are, I think we'll just chat with X. It's a Sunday, it's a short day. I didn't do a video yesterday or the day prior because, why was that? I did not because I was going live on Facebook. And in the morning, I have been out in, um, okay, I'll just say what it is. I've been out in nature a lot. Um, I've been using my time to pick up some rubbish of items that blew into the fields and the woods around um, Unicorn Square and um, and also playing fetch with Casino the workshop dog and then I enjoy meditating a lot and so that's been another item that I've been practicing because it is so important and um, during this time it's very important to be gentle with yourself and also um, to think happy thoughts and try to play positive games because it is super helpful for your immune system to be positive um, so I kind of had a week where I just kind of had to uh, readjust my sales and um, and see the best way to um, spread positivity like the gratitude tree and the fairies but at the same time certainly acknowledging uh, what is currently happening and practicing self-care practicing um, doing your due diligence I I basically have been um, <clears throat> practicing social distancing all winter um, only going out really for groceries and to go out in nature uh, so it's a really interesting time um, so for me this has been a practice I've been practicing um, yeah all winter uh, so it's an easy adjustment however I know for many it is not an easy adjustment this week as you adjust to um, self distancing and staying home from work um, so it's a fine balance of still and my nature is positivity it always has been and on several occasions throughout my life um, it has uh, sometimes come across as a uh, Sometimes I'm too happy in different situations, but I have never been able to turn off my, um, who I am. And so, uh, it's very interesting to figure out the balance between being sensitive to everyone, but then also in the same regard, I have a lot of messages to share and I look at this time as a magnificent opportunity to, um, and it's, in my eyes, a gift for everyone to have some self-reflection, to practice gratitude, and really dial in um, what is what brings you joy, and the importance of Mother Nature, and the importance of your self-esteem, um, and self-acceptance, uh, and listening to your own intuition, all these things. Uh, when you get really quiet, like everyone is collectively right now, I find that it is really beautiful 
for yourself to really take some time. So that's very interesting. And now I just went completely off topic. So how about that? Have an awesome day.